Here's how to customize your FL Studio look, because sometimes when you load up for the first time like so, it could look a little overwhelming. Things are very tiny in the wrong places. This is usually what I do when I have like a clean install of FL and I want it to look right. First things first, I always like my playlist view right here to be full screen. And I always right click up here at the very top and set this to FL Studio 12. This is just personal preference. I just like how 12 looked in terms of where things are positioned up here. I will also right click on the maximize button because what this does is it makes my taskbar go away as you see there, which is really useful, especially for me as I'm recording videos and I don't want that to be in the video. Now let's get into making the software itself look a lot nicer. If you go into options and then general settings, one of the things you could change is animations. There's a lot of different options. You could have basically none, or you can go all the way up to entertain me. I keep it on make it pretty usually. And then I go over to theme. This is where the most drastic of the layout changes will happen. This is because you could change the colors of basically anything. So I have a slightly modified default right now, but if we just go ahead and reset that, you're probably used to seeing something a little like this. This is normal FL. I usually just tweak default to make it a bit darker, but there's a ton of different things you could do. There's this one, which is a really nice little dark theme. A little too different for my tastes. I'll keep this open as well so you can see it. There's a light theme if you'd want that. This really cool purple one, I know a lot of people use this. We'll just go through these quickly. Dark orange is another really cool one. Usually when I tweak the default one, I try to make it resemble this a little bit. There's a dark theme, and we have several more light themes as well, if you'd want to do that. And then there's citrus. This one's really cool as well, probably one of my favorites. And ultra green. You could choose those, and of course you could make adjustments to all of the different settings as well, change the colors, which is really cool. Again, I'm so used to default, I usually just try to do something like this. And adjust the colors ever so slightly, usually just a hair before it changes the text color and I go from here. On taking away some of the saturation makes it look really cool too. The next thing that you could do that's really cool is if you go back into general, there is this setting right here, which is in the bottom right of display for colorful waveforms. By default, it's off, and let me show you what that looks like. So if we click on any sound, you could see everything's usually just like this white. But there's two options that you have here. There's color map, which changes it to be like this. I like this one a lot because you could see what part of the frequency spectrum a sound has. Like for example, if it's mainly just sub, it's gonna be like this red color that you see there. And then it gets brighter or lighter colored for higher things. So I actually use that like on purpose because I think it's really, really helpful to me. There's also multiband if you like this one instead. Both are really cool. I'm gonna go ahead and set that back to color map. Apart from that, in terms of customizing FL Studio, it's just about resizing elements. I usually like my mixer to be a little bit taller like that, but that's all up to preference. These are just things that you need to change over time and get it to fit right for you. Let me know if this video was helpful to you in the comment section below. Please do drop a like as well. That does help me out and subscribe for future content from me. That's gonna wrap us up though. Thank you for watching. I will catch you in the next video.